Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation area to learn all about Divi's bar counter module. So the bar counter module is one of a few modules that we have dedicated to displaying stats and information in a compelling, beautiful way. And uh, the bar counter is certainly no exception to that, to that rule. Uh, the bar counter allows you to create these just gorgeous bar graphs and stats on your website, anywhere that you want. Um, and we're going to show you in this video how to add content to those bar, uh, bar graphs and also how to style them so that they look great and fit in with your existing website design. Check it out. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of Divi's bar counters module. If you've ever needed to display stats on your website, the bar counter module really is a perfect solution for you. It's got some built-in features and animation that really makes those stats jump out at you as you scroll down the page. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this page here. Uh, this page is using the bar counters module to display you know, what percentage these service goals have been dedicated to this project. And uh, I have branding, web redesign, SEO, and they're displayed nicely with a, a nice little visual bar graph here. So in order to get a better feel for the settings and how to add your own bar counter to your website, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one so we can add one together. All right, now it's deleted. Uh, just go ahead and hover over your row or your column here. And let's go ahead and add a new module. Search for the bar counters module, click on it, and that'll pull up your bar counter settings. Under the content tab, one of the first things you'll see is the ability to add your first bar counter. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to give it a title. First one is going to be branding. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a percentage of 80. And you can see it's starting to come to life over here, but it has all the default colors and uh, font sizes and things like that. For now, let's go ahead and save this one out. And let's duplicate it a couple of times so we can, you know, speed up the process here. And let's give this next one the title of web. Let's just call it web design. Give it a different percentage. Let's give it a 90 here. Save it out. And let's edit the settings of our third one here and let's give it a new title. We'll call it SEO. And I'll give it a percentage of 70. And let's save it out. And let's continue with our settings under the content tab. Under the elements section, you have the option of turning off the use percentage option here. So it takes away the number value with the percentage sign next to it and just represents the value in a color in the graph. The background here can be changed from this default gray. The background here refers to the background of the bar. Uh, not the background of the module. So if I wanted to, I could change it to a black or something like that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as its default. Under the design tab, we have some additional options to choose from to further design our bar counter. I can change the default background color here and changing it here will adjust the colors for all of my bar counters. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my color value. It's an orange color to match my site. I can also change the text color from a, a dark to a light if I wanted to, if I was on a darker background. Uh, doesn't make sense here because we're already on a white background. So I'll keep it dark. I could change the text orientation here to be centered or on the right uh, of the bar. 
the title text refers to the uh, the piece of text right above your bar here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the title font as its default, but I am going to change the title title font size. Let's go ahead and change it to 20 so we can read it a little better there. I can change the title text color as well. I'm going to go ahead and um, place my color value here to match my site. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to change my line height here to about a two. And it's looking good so far. I still need some width here um, on my bars uh, to make them, you know, stand out a little bit more. Uh, in order to do that, I can I can change the percentage line height. Um, if I go to my percentage uh, text here, and if I increase my line height here, you can see that the bar will grow in width. Um, keep it at about a 2.5. Additionally, uh, let's say you don't want to do it that way, and let's restore it to its default. You could also go down to the spacing uh, section down here and increase the padding as well. This will give you some additional room in your bar there. Let's go ahead and restore the defaults. Go back to my percentage text. Put my line height to 2.5. There you go. And let's go ahead and change my percentage text color uh, to a white. And for some reason, I'm not seeing my percentage text there. Let's go back to my content and make sure I turn it back on. Alrighty. And uh, my percentage text alignment, I'm going to put to the right um, instead of off to the left there. If I wanted to add a border, I could do that here. Um, uh, excuse me, a border radius. radius. Give it a little bit of a radius around my edges there, which kind of looks nice. We'll leave it as its default for now, and I could also add a border if I wanted to. Right now the border is a white color. It's barely visible. But if I wanted to maybe outline it in um, maybe that blue or something, give it make it uh, give it a bit more of an edge or a border. All right. I could change the overall width of my module here. And I can increase the margins uh, of my module and the padding as well. I could also add an animation to my module as well when it shows up as I scroll down the page. And of course, I have my advanced tab where I can add my custom CSS IDs and classes to target this module in an external style sheet if I wanted to. Or I could add inline custom CSS to the various elements um, available in the module here. For example, if I just wanted to target my counter title, and maybe I wanted to put a custom weight on it or something, I could add, you know, 900 there, give it a increase the font weight of the title and then it'll target just that one element. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's go back to our content and let's look at the individual settings, uh, individual bar counter settings here. So if I, this comes in handy if I wanted to make each and every one of my bar counters a different color or a different you know, look than the others. Um, I could give it a, a separate or a different background just for that one bar, uh, for example. Uh, I could get into my design tab here and I could just create a custom bar background color if I wanted here. And maybe I, I, I want to just 
give it a blue here. It still matches the site color there. Kind of makes each of them stand out a little bit. And a lot of these settings are going to be the same as the ones we had in our general settings for the bar counter, but these allow you to change the individual colors and fonts as well. And that concludes our overview of the bar counter module.